okay i will start stoma uh, definition complications and uh, indications of stoma and finally i will give you the summary for mrcs exam okay what is the stoma it is uh, in greek it is called mouth or opening it is artificial opening in the bowel wall which connects a hollow viscous to the exterior uh, or to the outside environment okay it it can be for the uh, bowel contents or urinary like urostomy okay but what's important for mrcs is the colostomy nostrils mouth and the anus are called natural openings intestinal stoma will be opening of the intestinal tract into the anterior abdominal wall like this is the interior and this is outside the environment and this is the colostomy bag what is the viscous you know the viscous and viscera okay types of stoma permanent and temporary according to the duration according to the anatomical sites what's important for us is the oleostomy versus colostomy what is the difference between end and the loop colostomy this is the reconstruction or establishment of the end and loop colostomy okay okay the end the end colostomy one end only is connected to the anterior abdominal wall in end colostomy two ends loop one loop taken okay and then opening like this and made outside both ends will be outside one end and the other end this is called afferent afferent and efferent uh, loops this is a lo uh, loop ileostomy or colostomy what is the permanent stoma and what is the tem temporary stoma Okay. <clears throat> the permanent stoma, it is necessary when there is no distal bowel segment remaining after resection. Like in Hartman procedure, we will do end colostomy. Okay, end colostomy. So you will close the anorectal stump and lift inside the abdomen and then make end colostomy. Okay. I will explain and temporary. Don't worry. Okay, so permanent stoma, you will make end one end to the anterior abdominal wall. Okay. Okay. Please lift all question at the end of the lecture. Then it will be clear definitely. Okay. And anyone has any question at the end of the lecture, if not clear by the lecture, I will clarify. Uh, I have done this uh, lecture three courses ago, and uh, don't worry, it will be clear more than enough, okay? Usually done below the belt line, like this. This is the belt line. It will be below the belt line. Left iliac fossa site for the colostomy, permanent colostomy. This is the usual, not nothing is necessary in surgery. Permanent ileostomy, it will be in the right iliac fossa. Okay. So what is the temporary stoma? It is just urgent procedure to relieve a complete distal bowel obstruction, okay? I will discuss all of this right now. Okay, this is the intestine. Okay. And this is the anterior abdominal wall. This is the outside and this is the inside of the patient. Okay. This is the inside of the patient. Okay. Here, the loop, I will cut 
here I will resect this segment like here there is obstruction okay distal bowel obstruction okay then I will cut this loop okay then it will be opening like this okay then I will make two ends this loop it will be two parts so this is the afferent loop and this is the efferent loop this is the afferent coming loop and this is the efferent going loop to the anus okay this is why because i want to reverse this segment after the urgent procedure like this i have this is a disseminated minated cancer okay so i have no complete cure measures i i don't to resect any segments because this is a futile surgery to resect a bowel segment because this patient is old metastatic disseminated disease so i want to make palliative cytoreductive surgery so i want just to make temporary loop loop like this okay this temporary loop the temporal loop i want to reverse it later after relieving the obstruction i will reverse these segments again into one segment okay these segments i will reverse into one segment again after three after six weeks to three months okay you can find if anyone asked in part b about uh, when to reverse to reverse the soma it will be returned to normal place after uh, weeks three to six months okay this is the average duration and you have to put into your consideration the state of the patient and relief of the obstruction and um, uh, liability of the patient or uh, risk factors to uh, go for theater okay so what is the size it will be colostomy cecostomy and colostomy and ileostomy this is the size what is the preparation of the patient psychological and physical examination Explain to the patient indication and complication to take the consent from him. Okay, you have to uh, contact, be contact with the stoma nurse, and this is important for MRCS Part B. How to prepare a patient stoma? Mark the site of the stoma when uh, should the patient be standing. Patient able to see the stoma, easily accessible to him, away from bony prominences waistline of clothes uh, of clothes and scar away from scar and skin creases and five centimeters away from the umbilicus because it will be covered by a stoma bag the stoma should be within the rectus abdominis uh, sheath okay the intestinal stomas we have a temporary uh, temporary or permanent stoma according to duration in colostomy in the ileostomy end means one end only i will take one end of the ileum or the colon like hartman procedures it will involve i will discuss this especially and ab abdominal renal excision of the rectum and colon upper and hartman procedures later because this involve in colostomy and the rectal stump and a, a rectal stump c wing and left alone okay inside the abdomen like this i will discuss it later okay temporary this is a loop you will do a loop because you want to reverse it again so it is a temporary so you are making just a loop to be outside okay because once the patient is stable you will take this ends and then anastomose them, them again and reverse to the inside of the abdomen so this is a temporary procedure okay like loop transverse colostomy for many reasons like obstruction like i want to, uh, to relieve 
urgent palliative measure for complete large bowel obstruction, defunctioning. What is the meaning of defunctioning? I want to defunction a distal segment, okay? Or I am afraid of the current anastomosis in the same session because like in, 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 in descending colon, I'm afraid or sigmoid colon, I don't uh, do uh, simple anastomosis, okay? I will not cut the, the cancer and do simple anastomosis. I want to make a temporary loop colostomy for defunctioning or complete bowel rest in pericolic abscess or in rectal fistula. Iliostomy, it is essential of management of neonates with certain types of internal obstruction like Hirsch's Crohn disease, meconium ileus, gastroschisis, and you have to know the difference between omphalocele and the gastroschisis. Omphalocele, seal means closing, or seal means a sac, but gastroschisis without a sac. A row, anterior abdominal wall. No anterior, congenital defect of the anterior abdominal wall. Okay. Iliostomies are commonly placed to divert, reverse the bowel contents in neonatal, like in necrotizing enterocolites. This is complete inflammation of the uh, colon and intestine. So I want to make the child or neonate, or neonate in a complete gut rest. So I do ileostomy. Not to disturb the ileum lumen with any contents. I want to extrude all of them outside to the exterior environment. Also like ulcerative colites, fab, all of this will need ileostomy. What is the ileostomy effluent? It is the secretion of ileostomy will be liquid contains activated digestive enzymes, discharged almost continuous discharge, high output, spout of the mucosa. This is means of the spout, that this end, because of the high output, I want to this uh, spout, the mouse of the stoma, three, two to three centimeters, because it is a high output. I want to elevate the oleostomy op opening, two to three centimeters from the skin surface to ensure the effluent passes directly into a stoma bag with minimal contact to the skin because it contains digestive enzymes, okay? So what is the complications? Early complication is skin irritation and skin necrosis, okay? This will come in the exam, skin necrosis and the skin irritation from the ileostomy contents. So I want to make it away from the skin surface by two to three centimeters. Then the stoma will drain into a stoma bag. Okay. What is in ileostomy? And what is the loop ileostomy? This is one end of the intestine. And this is the anterior abdominal wall. This is taken out and the spout, spouted like this. Okay, this is uh, not two openings. This is the, just the defaults of the ileum. This is ends, one end ileostomy. But loop, two ends. This is one end and this is one end. Proximal opening and the distal opening. Okay, so this is the wall, the posterior wall. And I take this cut into two openings, like this. I excise just one, okay. Okay, this is the, this is the ileum. I excise just the anterior part and made it to the outside into two openings like this. This is, this one is the posterior wall, okay? This is the loop ileostum.
high output. Yes, means that the ileum is secretory knot will be like colostomy. It, it contain a colostomy will discharge stool formed material, but the ileum will be of a complete discharge. Dr. Sahar, this part again, please, Dr. Reda, which, is, which part? So he cuts only one side of the wall and the proximal, the distal, yes, yes. I didn't understand the whole point of the previous page. Okay, perfect. Okay, what is the contents of the ileum? Effluent means secretion or drainage. Okay, the secretion or the outcome of the ileostomy opening. Okay, this secretion it was fine from the beginning. Okay, no, it was just less than a minute. I don't know. Antimesenteric side, yes. Okay. Uh, yes, because the mesentery containing the coming blood vessels to the side, I cannot cut this, it will cause ischemia and necrosis, okay? Effluent part, Dr. Sahar. This is the secretion discharge of the ileum itself. Now, I need ileum contents outside of your tummy. This is a liquid, liquid fluidy material and the containing activated digestive enzymes. So I am afraid these digestive enzymes will cause skin irritation, skin necrosis, and inflammation, dermatitis. So I want to, to put here a bag, okay? If this opening is, came, is, coming, here, is coming here, it will cause direct irritation of the contents to the skin. So I want to spout Spout means to reverse away from the skin, like this. So that when I put a bag, it, it contain the secretions into a stoma bag. Is it clear, Dr. Sahar? Okay. Dr. Muhammad Zahid. Yes, okay, thank you. Now for loop and end. One end, all the whole one end is made as in colostomy. Like here is the anti-mesenteric border, one side is cut, is excised, or is incised and made into two loops. This is the afferent one, and this is the efferent one. What is important here is A and E. Like this, this is the end one, end stoma. This is maturated or mature in the stone, okay? This is a barrel, not important for you. Double barrel stoma, it's not important. Also, in the two side anastomosis, not important for you in MRCS, okay? Number E is a loop one. You will take, this is anterior abdominal wall, you will take a loop and excise it into two openings. I think, Dr. Ahmad Shukri, I want a comment from you. Is it clear or not clear? Dr. Ahmad Shukri, this is the difference between loop and end. Is it clear for you or not? Yes, thank you. This to come to the end and loop. One end and loop for two openings, okay? What is the colostomy? Colostomy, it is artificial opening in the large bowel, colon, to divert fetus or flatus to the exterior environment and it, it will be collected in an external appliance, bag. Colostomy, bag. What is the indication don't, all of this is not important. For you, in MRC, it's not important. Imperforate anus, Hirschsprung disease, upper abdominal perineal excision of the rectum, anal 
كانسر تيومر بيرتيكولار ديزيز all of this is not important these diseases of the large bowel or after large bowel segments so i want the opening for you to uh, secrete your waste products so i want to approximate into your abdomen to make the contents or the waste outside because this is obstruction this is uh, Hirsch's bronze disease use a ganglionic segment in the rect in the rectum. Abdominal perineal in cancer, uh, low one third of the rectum. You have cancer lower one third of the rectum will do abdominal perineal excision of the rectum and colon. So I want to do colostomy for uh, passage, another passage, another back passage, another anus. Anal cancer tumor. I will remove the anus after uh, after chemo radiotherapy. If it's this is operable disease, I will remove the anal canal and close the anus and make a colostomy permanent colostomy. In a diverticular disease, large bowel outbouchings, and this is complicated by abscess or whatever. So you will excise and do stoma. What is the significance? For you, it's not important. And for me, I don't know more information in techniques. And I, I, I go with Dr. Nabil in many uh, stoma surgeries, but I don't know the significance of uh, double barrel. Uh, okay, yes, I, I choose between loop and the end for cases. When I really choose Dr. Jihad, uh, Dr. Jihad I will explain that I said that in the first of the lecture when I muted, I said that not, uh, he will not give you never ever two options will come true for the same uh, question. Don't worry. I will clarify what points and I will give you many examples of EMRCs and pass test and you will solve inshallah. Okay. So, Okay, mucus fistula, all of this for us, for MRC is not important. For general surgery, I will need another lecture when we, uh, when we, we, when we want this, okay? Uh, colostomy, by anatomy, there is transverse descending sigmoid colostomy. By uh, construction will be end loop or double barrel. Okay, by function for decompression and large bowel obstruction, and for diversion, which means another anal canal, okay? Colostomy, uh, I, by the way, I deleted barrel, I deleted it from uh, any content contained barrel, I deleted it, it's not important for us. Temporary, mostly loop colostomy. Permanent, end colostomy, one end. Indications, like we said, colorectal cancer, diverticular disease, all of this. Appearance, it is directly on the skin because it contains tools. Mucosa sutured to the skin. The flush with the skin. Location, if it's permanent, it will be left iliac fossa because this is the site will be permanent in the site of the colon. Temporary, at left iliac or right hypochondrium. Okay. The effluent or secretion will be intermittent, not continuous and solid, not like the uh, ileostomy. This is formed or semi-formed uh, feces into stomach bag and directly no spout. This is called the flush. No spout like ileostomy. Okay. Mucosa is level with the skin, is with the same level with the skin. Suture the flush with the skin, allow it to put, to, to put or pour slightly to prevent retraction after weight gain, okay? Yes, slightly. This is the end colostomy, high 
So this is descending colostomy and will be end colostomy. And this is a set, stoma bag set, okay? What is the Hartman procedures for you? This is important for you. This is any sigmoid, many sigmoid pathologies like sigmoid cancer, sigmoid perforation, sigmoid diverticular uh, disease, any disease, not any disease, some diseases affecting the sigmoid colon, the treatment will be Hartman procedure. And by the way, ask it in part B also. Okay, this is the anatomy of your colon and this is a disease of the sigmoid colon. Proc2, sigmoidectomy. We will remove Proc2, sigmoidectomy. The remaining end will be taken out of your anterior abdominal wall. Okay, so Proc2, sigmoidectomy. End colostomy, end the descending colostomy. And then, closure of the anorectal stump. Closure of the anorectal stump. This inside your tummy. This will not suture into the skin. This will be inside the tummy. Okay. So again, end colostomy. One end because I have done proctosigmoidectomy. Plus closure and sewing of the anorectal stump and left inside the thumb. Okay. Hartman again. Basology of the sigmoid colon. Okay, like sigmoid perforation, sigmoid abscess, sigmoid cancer, sigmoid diverticular disease. Some indications of Hartman for sigmoid pathology. I want to, re to remove, this is uh, ascending, transverse descending, then the sigmoid colon, then the anorectal stump. Okay. So, here is the pathology in the sigmoid colon. So I want to remove all these segments, okay? All this segment I want to remove. So I have this thumb remaining ends, the remaining end, this end and this end, right? I, you will eat, you will eat, and then your waste product will come to the, this end. Will it go? I want to, to remove all this segment. So it will go to outside of your thumb through the anterior abdominal wall. So this will be exteriorized, exteriorized to the anterior abdominal wall, like end colostomy. Okay, end colostomy. Okay, so this end will be a stoma bag and this a stool will become in this stoma bag. Okay. I removed all this segment. This end also is remaining. What to do? I will do sewing and lift it alone. The anorectal stump. Okay. So with Hartman, you do end not loop stoma. Yes, end colostum. Hartman with end colostum and written in the notes. So this stump is closed inside your tummy and left alone. But this end will be exteriorized to outside of the environment by a stoma bag and the stool will come in this stoma bag. Is it clear, Dr. Ahmad Shukri? Hartman procedure. This is simply an animated Hartman procedure. Not for orthopedic. <laughs> Don't worry, orthopedic will not understand what is the contents of the colon and all of this? And I really uh, don't know what is total hip replacement. <laughs> How do you do? So rectal cancer more than, oh, Dr. Ahmed. I am now in Hartman, in Hartman 
already i i will explain hartman is clear or not yes okay i will go to the next okay okay what is the next so what is the importance of end or loop ostom in in the stoma is will be with vascular compromise more chances of necrosis easy to fix stoma appliance and leak rates are less and reverse is difficult because this only one end so you cut this blood supply so vascular compromise and the skin necrosis but easy to fix because this is one opening reversal is is difficult because the the you missing the one the the other end inside the abdomen but the loop you made a loop okay you made a loop good vascularity because like dr wasik said it is the anti-mesenteric border so the blood supply will come all to all parts less chance again good blood supply so less chance of necrosis difficult to fix because it is two ends won't okay leak rate more than end because two ends easy to reverse you will easily Close this and return it to its normal place. Clear, nobody can do it more. Thank you, Dr. Ma. The complications of the uh, system. The most important to do the skin irritation, early complication, skin irritation and skin necrosis. Then ischemia, like this, retraction, because not fixed well, so it will go inside your tummy, okay? Stenosis, it will be obstructed. It will be prolapsed, sorry, will be prolapsed. It will be prolapsed like this, and this all, not rare, but late complications. Parastomal hernia. Para means near the hernia, parastomal herniation. This is the most important one, fecal irritant dermatitis. Fecal irritant dermatitis. And I saw many patients in the Italian hospital with this complication. And this is not uncommon and will bother the patient mostly, okay? The colostomy set you will cut the end and remove the blaster and put it to the patient for a protection. This is called the protective skin barrier. And the pouch may be close end, not drainable and drainable set. Complication according to the duration. What is important is early skin manifestations like skin irritation and the skin uh, skin necrosis okay the summary we will come now to the summary again stoma is not complicated don't complicate it okay i will now discuss with you this is called the anal verge the opening of the anal canal simply and this is the lens of the rectum from the anal canal until the sigmoid colon it will be 15 centimeters okay the the upper five centimeters from zero to one five centimeters from the inner verge. This, any disease, any cancer, whatever, 
any surgical operable disease here like cancer, cancer lower one third of the rectum or anal canal. Rectum, lower one third rectum or anal canal. Five centimeters from the anal verge. How to treat? You will do abdominal, abdominal approach. Perineal, perineal uh, incisions. Excision of the rectum and colon. With end colostomy, so you will remove this cancer and remove part of the perineum through perineal approach. Remove the anal canal, remove the rectum. So the remaining is colon. You will do end colostomy. Because you also, you, I, I also visited many patients. Close the anal canal. We close the we close the anal canal. So how this patient? We want a new anal canal. So it will be end colostomy. Doctor Ahmed, lower one third rectal or anal cancer. Is it clear for you or not? Because uh, Doctor Ahmed Shukri and Doctor Jihad and all of you, I want clarification. Thank you, Muslim. How is an anterior section? Okay, now I don't know why. Why you are going to uh, another? Don't go for another uh, segment until we come to. Okay. Okay. Yes, this is the Bahariz, Dr. Khaled, yes. Why loop is our one set? Dr. Sunyu Mehta, now, please, please, please. I want you to understand step by step. So now I am I am now in the first step. Okay, I will move it again to what I said. We have the colon, then the anus. Okay. This is the anal verge. This is fifteen centimeters. Any lower one third anal or rectal five centimeters, will do abdominal perineal excision of the rectum. We will open abdominal incision and from the perineum, perineal incision. We want to remove anal cancer. It may be progressed to the perineum, so it will be wide excision of the anus and rectum. So we have, we have closed the anus. Where is the other end? We have removed all of this. Where, where is the other end to make loop? Loop containing two ends, okay? So we have only one end. So we, we, we have done abdominal, perineal excision of the rectum and the part of the colon. So we have, I am clarifying now, Dr. Omnia, what's upper? Abdomen, abdominal, perineal excision of the rectum. I removed from the anal approach, I removed the anal canal and part of the rectum. Then through the abdomen, I removed the part of the rectum and the part of the colon. So I have now, I have now one end, remaining one end. So simply I want another anal canal. So it is called end colostomy. Okay, end colostomy. Is it clear or not? For a loop, please don't don't go for a loop. Okay, I I am now in upper, lower, one third, rectal or anal carcinoma treatment, abdominal perineal excision of the rectum plus endocolostomy. If I so I use two openings, Doctor Omnia, no. Not not two openings, 
I, I, I approach the patient from his perineum and from his abdomen. So it is called abdominal perineum. Yes. Oh, okay. So it is abdominal because I remove, I cannot reach the anus from the abdomen, even from the pelvis. I cannot reach because it, it, is, it will be hard to excise from the abdomen, the anal canal. So I want to approach the patient from the perineum. So we removed part of the ab part of the uh, so removed all anal canal, closed it, removed part part or the whole rectum and it's sometimes called abdominal excision ex 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 of the rectum and colon. So one end is remaining. So I will do in colostomy. Laparoscopically. I, I, I didn't see anyone made it laparoscopically. I know, I know many stomas can be done. Yes, there are stomas can be done laparoscopy. But don't ask me surgical techniques will not be important for us in MRSS. And today is Valentine and I am married. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so laparoscopic, yes, it is possible, yes. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, lower one third rectal, and in a, it will be in the recording. By the in the recording, by the way. <laughs> okay. So we have done this portion, Doctor Ahmad Shukri. These questions are technically hard to answer, okay? <laughs> no, surgeons, I'm not a surgeon. <laughs> okay. So we, uh, we, have, we have to move to the other, other surgery, okay? This 15 centimeters. We have end from this point, from six to 14, centimeters from the anal verge, it will be it, it called upper two thirds of the rectum. Any pathology, rupture, perforation, any pathology of the upper two thirds of the rectum. Uh, will be all answers are wrong. Regarding what doctor was Okay, Dr. Was, please concentrate on the lecture. Okay, so we have upper two thirds of the rectum. We will do anterior resection. Don't bother with what is anterior. It's called anterior because it is, uh, it is only abdominal approach. It is only abdominal approach. We remo remove, this is anterior abdominal wall approach. We will remove this. All this part, anterior resection of the rectum. Okay, and we will do and close this stumps. Okay, and we will do loop iliostomy. Okay, loop iliostomy. Why loop iliostomy? Because I will reverse. I, I won't simply, I will remove this and this. Those two ends can be reversed again. Okay, I don't know, I will close them. But I don't know if we are stable, so we will reverse this again. Yes, anterior abdominal wall. And anyone, by the way, anyone technically perfect surgeon, he can share with me. In anterior resection, I know with loop iliostomy because I I will I will do anterior resection not with not with primary anastomosis, because those two ends cannot be anastomosed together. So I close these ends, okay, and leave them alone. And temporarily, I make a loop iliostomy. Yes, yes, to make distal segment twist, yes. Okay, then I can reverse it later. Okay. 
again lower one third upper plus n close to me because this is the lower one third upper two thirds of the rectum I do anterior resection this is a complete procedure called anterior resection and loop iliostum loop iliostomy why because I reverse the same loop again to uh, inside after three to six months okay so we have done all these portions important for MRCs anterior section of iliostum upper and colostum what is the indication upper two thirds anterior section loop iliostum lower one third or anal canal if it's indicated I know anal carcinoma will be radio chemo, chemo radio but if indication for operable surgery you can primarily anastomose them, then, then you can make loop iliostomy as a defunction. Yes. So that you give time for your anastomosis to heal and minimize the chance of leakage, which is the usual complication. Yes, Dr. Miyugi, perfect. The anterior section we will do, we will do primary anastomosis. Yes, yes, I think that, yes. But I want this anastomosis to heal well. If it if at, I uh, if I made this, so I make it away from the anastomosis. Okay, yes, 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 Doctor Suzanne. Uh, yes, we we anastomose this, but we we need to defunction this anastomosis to because the contents will irritate and will make leakage and may make the patient die. So we will do uh, anastomosis. Uh, by the way, I don't I don't go for anterior resection surgeries before. But we do anastomosis. Yes, Dr. Suzanne, we do anastomosis. We do anastomosis, so to be clear again. In upper two thirds, we do, we remove the cancer. Then we do primary anastomosis. Then loop iliostomy, loop iliostomy. Total proctomy, colectomy, total proctocolectomy with end oleostomy. Yes, why? Because we have removed all rectum and all colon. So the rem remaining is one end of the ileum. So total, total proctocolectomy with end oleostomy. Yes. And it can be done with IPA, IPA, ileal pouch anal anastomosis. And this is the gold standard for ulcerative colitis, fulminant ulcerative colitis management. Now, in Billy, new Billy and Love edition, we do uh, total proctocolectomy with ileal pouch in anastomosis. Especially for young patients, ileal pouch, ileal, yes. Iba, ileal pouch anastomosis, or ileal pouch in anastomosis. So you do, you do total proctocolectomy or end oleostomy with end oleostomy or Dr. Ahmad Shukri, please, I will open the mic for you. ثواني يا دكتور احمد معلش دكتور احمد اتفضل اتكلم Yeah, I was asking about the rectal cancer that is five less than five centimeters to the anal verge. You do total proctolectomy and end ileostomy or end colostomy? Total proctectomy. I'm not sure. Yes, we remove we remove anus and remove the rectum and do end colostomy. Yes. Okay, so this is, so you just said end iliostomy now. Um, end colostomy, so, no, 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 so no, I will, I, I will clarify everything. They are, they are asking in the okay. chat. There is total and partial pro proctolectomy. There is total or partial, I don't know. There is types of proctolectomy. Procto, rectum, colectum, colon. Okay, so any, any, any rectal cancer that is five centimeters uh, less to the anal verge, you do total proctolectomy and end ileostomy. 
No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't say that. I didn't say that. Okay, look at me. Okay, I'm looking. Okay. This is lower one third rectal carcinoma. How to manage? This is the lower one third. How to manage? I will do abdominal perineal excision of the rectum. Okay. A. Okay. A. Okay. The remaining stump. I will do in colostrum. Okay, is it clear? I remove the anus and close this portion. What is what? Okay. So we don't do total proctorectomy here. No, no, no. They are asking about another one, and I am sorry to answer them uh, earlier than the uh, no, another note. Okay, the other note. Okay. And uh, now upper two thirds here, two ends. I removed this segment or this uh, disease segment. I, I have an, one end and one end. I do primary anastomosis. I, I connect this end to this end. But now I, I am afraid this from leakage and from uh, uh, leakage or I want to make complete segment rest. Okay, so I do anterior resection and a loop, loop, temporary loop, iliostomy. Why not colostomy? Because I want this segment, I do a primary anastomosis and I will be away from this segment by in, by loop, iliostomy. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Is it clear for you? Yes, it is. So yeah. when do you do proctor, proctor, uh, colectomy? When do you do this operation? When we do proctocolectomy? Yes. We, in fulminant, urgent, ulcerative colitis, we will do in total proctocolectomy plus one of the following. Total proctocolectomy with end oleostomy or EPA. EPA means ileal pouch anal anastomosis. Ileal pouch anal anastomosis. So yes. you anastomose ileal. I take the ileum, I take portion of the ileum and made like this. Ileal pouch. So in the exam, which one should I choose? End oleostomy or EPA? He will not give you this with this. Okay? Will give you this or this, so don't worry. That is very clear for me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, uh, they are low Eosin. Okay. Total percent for colon. Okay. Yes, we can do subtotal. Uh, okay. We will come back. See, Hartman, we said Hartman, here we said Hartman procedure, okay? We will do Hartman for sigmoid uh, perforation or the verticular disease of the sigmoid, proctosigmoidectomy, proctosigmoidectomy, or recto means proctosigmoidectomy, with closure of the anorectal stump and in colostomy. Why? Okay, because we make a closure of the anorectal stump, so the other end will, will come like in colostomy. Okay, obstructing or large carcinoma. 
وبستراكتنج كارسينوما اي وونت تو ميك دي فانكشنينج اي وونت تو ميك دي كومبريشن اي وونت تو ريليف ذا اوبستراكشن ارجنتلي اور لارج كارسينوما اي وونت تو دو سايدو سايتو ريدكتيف سيرجري اي وونت تو داون ستيج تو ديكريز ذا سايز اوف ذيس كانسر سو اي دو اولويز ات ويل كام اول اول اكزامز ات ويل كام لايك ذيس اوبستراكتنج كارسينوما I want to do down staging for a large cancer. So why? What you will choose? Urgent loop colostomy. Why loop? Because it is urgent and it will not be permanent. It will be temporary. So it will not be end. It will be urgent, temporary loop colostomy. Four ulcerative colitis. It will be like this in your exam. Okay. Ulcerative colitis, you will do subtotal colectomy within ileostomy. If it's urgent, Okay, it will be subtotal colectomy with end ileostomy. Again, subtotal colectomy with end ileostomy. Or some definitive managements will be uh, total proctic colectomy with end ileostomy or with uh, aerial pouch anal anastomosis. Okay. Uh, let's listen to the literature first. We are confusing others because leakage possibility. I don't know why. What you are? Why you are asking many questions? Anterior section for what diseases? Okay, I said that. Lower anterior section, upper two thirds cancer disease. You want to excise upper two thirds of the. You want to excise upper two thirds of. Uh, of the rectum, upper two thirds rectal carcinoma. Yes. Okay. Any question? I will answer later, or now, if it's important question. I remove rectum. Will do in ileostomy. If I remove rectum, I will do in ileostomy. Yes. If you remove rectum, you will do in ileostomy. Question together at the end, please. Okay, yes. I think this will be better. Okay. What is the difference between Crohn's disease and the ulcerative colitis? Again, don't worry regarding uh, all questions regarding the stomas will be from what we have done. Revise well and... Okay. I will start reading the chat uh, after I finish. Okay, Crohn's disease versus ulcerative colitis. Crohn's disease, many patterns of uh, many items of difference. Crohn's disease will affect any segment from mouth to anus, but most commonly terminal AL disease. The, 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 the pattern of progression will be skip lesions. What is the meaning of skip? One segment, okay, one segment, one segment, one segment disease, and the other uh, intervening mucosa are free. Skip lesion. One patch is diseased, one patch is free. Transmural, trans through the whole wall of the uh, intestine, all wall layers, transmural. Okay. okay. What is the symptom? Crampy abdominal pain. Okay. The complications, because this is a transmural, so it will be liable for fistulation, perforation, abscess, or stricture, formation, and obstruction. So if you understand uh, the uh, Crohn's disease, 
that it is a transmural scap lesion, bad cheek, cobblestone appearance, it will be uh, these complications in your mind, abscess, fistulation, structure formation, and all of this. The strange sign of cantor will be on the barium x-ray. I will show you some string sign of cantor. Okay. I showed in telegram what will be a string sign of cant cantor because it will cause uh, like string. Okay. The risk, slight increase of uh, uh, risk cancer. Okay. Three or five percent on. Uh, surgery for complications such as structures, not because you will start with infleximab with uh, many uh, immuno immune modulator substances and immunosuppressive like corticosteroids as a cyoprene and uh, uh, sulfamicillazine and all of this. This Crohn's disease. So keep the back. Don't 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 compare each each uh, item. No, know the disease as a whole. Then know the other disease. This is Crohn's disease. Don't forget. It will come from mouth to anus. Any segment can be affected. Most commonly, terminal ileal disease, ileal Crohn's disease, or ileocecal segment. Skip leash. Skip. Cobblestone appearance like this. Edematous wall, so this wall. Edematous, the, the disease is a transmural, this is edematous wall, and there will be linear fissures and the creeping of fat. It will be perfect in MRCS. And creeping of fat, linear fissures, Edematous wall, transmural, all layers can be affected. Okay. So, thickened edematous wall, transmural, creeping of fat, linear fissures, and abscess ulcerations. Abscess ulceration. So, this is a Crohn's disease. Iliocecal Ilio most commonly, but can be batchy. Any segment can be affected. So, structure formation because of the edema, edema and uh, fibrosis will be structure formation because of its transmural linear fissures and ulcerations and associated commonly with perianal disease. Perianal disease. Smoking increases the risk. Okay. Uh, perianal disease is common. Most commonly, ileocecal. All of this Crohn's disease. Don't forget Crohn's disease. Perfectly made a uh, note to understand the whole disease first. Then compare with the other one. This is Crohn's disease. Again, Crohn's disease. I will make it. Uh, I will make you, inshallah, perfect in Crohn's disease difference between us. And, and, and I know you are perfect uh, than me. Crohn's disease will affect any segment from mouth to anus, specifically terminal ileal disease or ileocecal segment. The pattern will be skip lesions. One segment is diseased, the other one is free. Will be transmural involving the whole wall layer. The symptom is a crampy abdominal wall, abdominal pain. Okay, that is cramp like. Complications because it is transmural bottom wind that fistula abscess structure obstruction perforation will could be the complication. Perianal disease very commonly associated. Radiographic findings strange sign of cancer and I show you in, tel in telegram. 
risk of colon cancer, just slight increase. Surgery, just for complications like as strictures. Surgery in the form of stricturoplasty or multiple small intestine uh, resections. You do simple resection, simple anastomosis, simple resection for each segment. But the, the definitive treatment and the initial treatment will be with sulfazalazine and immunomodulators, uh, corticosteroids, some uh, uh, monoclonal antibodies, biologic agents. Uh, this will be in the first instance. So it's patchy, okay, normal intervening mucus. Most commonly, ileocecal or terminal, terminal ileal disease. The features have to keep ileocecal, transmural, keeping of fat, linear fissures and ulceration. Okay, whole layer transmural, whole layer can be affected. It is edematous due to structure and uh, fistulation, ulceration, all of this could be happen in Crohn's disease. What is the management? Medical in the first and then will be uh, surgery in the form of stricturoplasty or multiple small bowel sections and anastomosis. And the management of the perianal fistula and it will be extensive fistulation, perianal disease and Crohn's disease. We have done Crohn's, don't forget Crohn's, okay? Then make a package for Crohn's, make a packet for Crohn's, pocket in your mind for Crohn's alone. Then we will move to ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis first will affect the rectum. Then we will progress upwards until reach your ileum. Could be called backwash ileitis because it started in the rectum, then have gone to the terminal ileum. Proximally contagious disease. It, I mean that it is superficial continuous ulceration. Superficial but continuous manner ulceration. Can affect mucosa only, mucosa or submucosa. By the way, the new literature or new PubMed uh, research said that this ulcerative colitis is immunological disease. And the treatment will be with uh, some uh, biologic agents like etanercept, uh, sorry, like infliximab, and because they said that it can start in submucosa and the progress in the mucosa because of some uh, uh, bacterial translocation and uh, tra bacterial translocation factor. So this is a new. Uh, theory of ulcerative disease. The main complication is bloody diarrhea because of the extensive superficial ulceration, continuous manner ulceration. Ulceration, so hemorrhage or toxic megacolon because it will be thinning of the mucosa because of the ulceration. This is the ulcer, okay? This is the ulcer, okay? This is the ulcer. And all will be ulcerated, but superficially. Okay, these extensive ulcerations involving the whole segment, continuous manner, not skip. This called normal intervening mucosa, right? This is called pseudo polyp. What is pseudo polyp? It is normal, inter normal, normal or regenerating mucosa between the ulcerated portions of the mucosa. So it is called pseudo because it is in, just a bullet in relative to the ulcerated mucosal segments. So it is not a real polyp, it is a pseudo, just pseudo polyp. Continuous colonic involvement beginning in the rectum and go to the ileum and called backwash ileitis. 
active disease, superficial ulcerations can cause atrophy because of thinning of the mucosa. Start in proctites, progress, distal colites can cause bad colites. And the, the, the treatment of ulcerative colites differs according to the site. Okay. Okay, so why toxic megacolon? Because the thinning and the atrophy, because of the extensive ulceration. So it can cause extensive megacolon, toxic megacolon. But the risk of cancer in ulcerative colitis is markedly increased, up to 20, up to 5%. Surgery is a curative management, but we, as surgeons, we don't think in surgery until you think in medical treatment. Medical, like in fleximab and immuno, uh, sorry, uh, biologic agents. Okay, smoking decreases the risk of arthritis. Perianal disease is not common. Okay, so I have done all regarding arthritis and so I will. Uh, perfect manage for Crohn's, please. Uh, I said management of the Crohn's, medical, like sulfasalazine and uh, immunosuppressive agents, uh, corticosteroids, and, and then you will think in co complicated Crohn's disease will be done with surgery. Structuroplasty. You uh, make removal of the structures and do primary anastomosis or multiple small intestine resections. What is medication for ulcerative colitis? We, the new medications, not new for us, but it is new emerging medications like infliximab. This is a biologic agent. MAB means monoclonal antibody. And this is a new era of medications. Okay. Uh, infleximab. Okay. Uh, we have done surgery for ulcerative colitis. We said cell surgery for ulcerative colitis. If it's fulminant urgent, we will do subtotal, subtotal proctocolectomy or subtotal colectomy with ileostomy. Okay. We can also in ulcerative colitis do the following. Total proctocolectomy with endoliosome. You will, you will keep this, don't worry. You will keep all of this information. I uh, want to do ileo inal pouch, any specific criteria? I don't know, Dr. Suzanne, I don't know when to do any ileo inal pouch. I will search daily, uh, and I read, I'm reading in daily nowadays, okay? But it's not important. I'm, 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 I'm just explaining for MRCS. Uh, candidates. Thanks. Thanks for the surgery for ulcerative colitis. We have said if it's fulminant urgent, subtotal colectomy with uh, end ileostomy or total proctocolectomy with end ileostomy or total proctocolectomy with ileal pouch in an anastomosis. Difference between subtotal and total, it's not important for you. Subtotal, you will remove not all the colon. But totally, you will remove all the colon. Okay. But for us, Dr. Muhammad Zahid, it's not important. Okay. Uh, difference between lobe ileostomy and lobe colostomy. No, dof no difference. We, please, just keep this. The summary. Okay. Don't mix and ask me. What is lobe ileostomy? Is a different procedure for different indications. Lobe colostomy is a different procedure for different indications. I want to thank you. Uh, thanks for all of you. And by the way, you are perfect than me. Uh, in many things, we, we just try to uh, rule out or clarify some uh, topics in RCS together. Thank you, Dr. Nam. Thanks, Dr. Suzanne. Thanks, Dr. Sunni Mehta. Thanks for Dr. Ahmad Shukri. I, I hope this and make it clarify, uh, clarified for you. Thanks, Dr. Mugi. 
thanks to Muhammad. Uh, I will keep in contact with you uh, when anyone has a query. Uh, I will answer. Thank you. Uh, goodbye.